6 crore vaccine much to the amazement of मुझे लगता है यहां वालों ने वैक्सीन नहीं लगवाई है हंड्रेड एंड एटी सिक्स करोड़ वैक्सीन मच टू द अमेजमेंट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी दे हैव बीन रेजिंग क्वेश्चन मार्क्स हाउ इंडिया विल डू ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक टाइम एंड टूडे वी स्टैंड हेयर विद आर हेड्स हाई एंड वी कुड से प्राउडली 186 crore vaccines and all vaccines were free of cost from rich to poor everyone in fact to put things in perspective in fact to put things in perspective that's one australia in a day today india is raising ahead with reforms at an unprecedented pace Mr. Vedanathan talked about few reforms at the macro and the micro level. And I'm being the fourth time elected representative of Lok Sabha from Hamirpur, Himachal Pradesh. I've seen the things changing on the ground in the past few years, very fast. But let me today talk about, because I'm standing here for the Economic Times program and the Times Network program about the economy and other issues. Today, we are registering growth across sectors and setting records in exports, timely completion of projects, and the sheer scale at which we can achieve results. And today, we are providing Indians social welfare schemes, financial inclusion, ease of doing business, ease of living across the spectrum. Today, India playing a greater geostrategic role. Our voice is not only heard but our opinion matters. Our actions are closely watched. Today, if the conversation and the table does not include India, it is as their loss. It is seen as their loss. And attempts are made to include India. This is the new India of the 21st century. This is the new India of the 21st century that is ready to lead in the post-pandemic world and on the path of becoming a wish guru again. My dear friends, the multilingual, multicultural, multilateral environment in which we Indians live is a great power for not for only for India, but for the whole world. During the Corona time, we have seen how India, following the vision of one earth, one health, under the able leadership of Prime Minister Modi, has helped the world by providing necessary medicines and vaccines to so many countries. Though there were many questions raised during that time why we are giving medicines or the vaccines to the other countries. But that was our duty at that time. The world has recognized India's leadership during that time. And today, India is among those countries of the world whose health professionals and doctors are winning everyone's trust through their sensitivity and expertise. And I can share one experience with you. I was at Dubai Expo recently. One of the UAE minister walked up to me and she said, I will never allow any doctor to touch my children except Indian doctors. I have trust only in Indian doctors. And trust me, she has put her soul, heart, everything to have, you know, work to work for the Dubai Expo for the last good seven, eight years while interacting with her and she's coming out and speak in favor of Indian doctors. That makes a lot of sense. And during the pandemic, it is the India's IT sector have saved most of the countries in the world by working around the clock. Today, India is the second India, today, India is sending record software engineers to the world. As I stand today, more than 50 lakh software developers are working in India. That's a large number. Today, India has the third largest number of unicorns in the world. In fact, during the COVID-19 pandemic, India saw 47 unicorns were born during the 
COVID-19 pandemic. I still remember when I took over, took oath as the Minister of State for Finance, Prime Minister Modi called me and Nirmala ji and instructed us that you have to resolve the issues, problems faced by the startups. Their issues of the incorporating of the company or the tax issues or other issues they have been facing for the last so many years. During the pandemic, it is not only we have seen the startups doing well, but becoming unicorns, 47 unicorns during the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, more than 10,000 startups have been registered in the past six months. India has a huge, secure and successful digital payment platform. As Mr. Vedanathan touched upon about the unified payment interface, Last month alone, 4.4 billion transactions have been made through UPI Bheem app, UPI Bheem platform. Friends, the digital infrastructure that India has developed and adopted over the years have become huge strength of India today. Technological solutions like Arogya Setu app, ab to aap bhul gaye honge Arogya Setu app ko. But technological solutions like Arogya Setu app for tracking corona infections and COVID portal for vaccinations are matter of pride for India. Unlike the West, which struggled to provide digital vaccination certificates, India has initiated this from the day one. Us same bhi log prashanchan khada karte the. Even during that time, there is questions. Why this COVID, why Arugya Setu app, they will take away your data, this and that. The West could not do that. We started it from the day one and it has helped us to travel across the world even during the pandemic time. When we started, when Prime Minister Modi talked about Jandan Yojana on the 15th of August 2014 and he launched the program, if I remember clearly, on 28th of August 2014, Within two years of time, within just two years of span, bankers like Mr. Vedanath and others, their staff on the field, have opened 450 million bank accounts in just two years span. During the pandemic time, it was the UPI Bheem platform and the bank accounts which has helped a country like India, which the West could not do, with the click of button we used to transfer amount close to 31,000 crore rupees to 20 crore accounts in one minute time, in one minute time. That is what we achieved. And that what has changed, a lot of things have been changed on the ground. So there was a time when India was identified with the license Raj and majority of the things were controlled by the government. I'll say some time back, there was the prime minister was controlled by remote control and the government was out of control. But today, India is promoting ease of doing business, ensuring transparency, time-bound completion, and minimizing government interface. India has made its corporate tax one of the most competitive in the world by simplifying and reducing it. Last year alone, we have eliminated more than 25,000 compliances. And in most of the meetings, Prime Minister Modi reminds us ministers like me and his cabinet to work towards decriminalizing most of the provision in any of the act, to work towards ease of doing business, ease of living. And trust me, in the last seven years we have seen, we have repealed thousands and thousands of such laws which were there from the British era. I'll be coming out with few laws in my information broadcasting sector for the benefit of the uh, industry. I'll say that India has regained the confidence of business community by reforming measures like retrospective tax. India has also deregulated sectors like drone space, geospatial mapping. These are emerging sectors where we are emerging as market leaders, both due to innovators and competitive pricing as well. India has made major reforms in outdated telecom regulations 
related to the IT sector and BPO. I still remember during the COVID-19 pandemic when the first lockdown happened on 24th of March 2020. I think after 7-10 days, it was me and Nirmala ji who used to go to Prime Minister's residence every day at 9.30-10 in the morning. Used to come back for lunch close to 2 o'clock till 3 o'clock. We have to call some state. Every district get the feedback about the situation there. And also to work on the Atmanirbhar package and the Pradhan Mantri Grip Kalyani Yojana. We used to go back again 3 o'clock, come back at 10 o'clock at night when most of you were locked down in the houses. We were working back doors to prepare the Atmanirbhar package. It was Prime Minister Modi who was putting his heart and soul and mind into it to look at what benefits could be given to the poorest of the poor, how the industry could keep moving. If you re-employ your employees who are thrown out of the job, how we can incentivize that? How we can... So IC 2022 has been formally inaugurated. The theme for this year is the Great Indian Democratic Dividend. And that was the INB Minister Anurag Thakur talking about registering growth across sectors and also India playing a greater geostrategic role. He also talks about the Indian dominance in the post-pandemic world and of course the country's successful vaccination drive. That was something that he began his speech with.